on the ground It's overrated The cityscape escapes you with a sound It's delineated I waited at the station for an hour But I won't make it You take off on an uptap by the tower And you overtake it
gentlemen, a surprise Sunday show. How are you doing today? Squatchin, the one, the only, the OG, the senator of Sass herself. How you been? I've been good, John. I've been good. Good, good. morning, chat. Good morning, everyone. Uh, so I had just gotten back from um, to Steel City Con. It was so much fun. I got a lot of cool stuff that I'm going to show off in a members-only video today. So keep an eye out for the members. And if you want to become a member, you can just join for 99 cents. Now, it's watching. I noticed uh, <laughs> things were, of course, as is tradition, not quiet while I was gone. Of course, it's it's when I, I'm absent. You gotta go happens. away more often. W wow, that's hard. Just, just to keep just to keep things interesting, a healthy influx of content. <laughs> uh, well, I can't believe my own co-host is saying I need to leave, guys. I'm hurt. I'm honestly hurt by this. No, guys. no, 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 no. I'm not saying leave. I'm saying go on vacation more. <laughs> I'm saying take time for yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, well, don't worry. Next I'm a trip... kind person, okay? <laughs> Listen, don't worry. Next trip, I'm gonna... I'm gonna, like, carry my uh, computer with me and everything, and bam. Stream out of day one. But no, so guys... <laughs> but then nothing will happen because you're prepared. Oh, yeah, true. That'd be the one, to, the one time I'm ready, and... Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, guys, uh, so Dark, <laughs> Dark Viper does what Dark Viper does best. And he continued being a schizo throughout the entire week. It, it was incredible. What was your highlight of the week? Uh, my highlight of the week... Fuck. I don't know, probably getting my fucking Pal World character back? Well, I mean, that, that's nice. I'm talking about, I'm talking about Dark Viper. Oh, Wide Viper. Wide Viper is the highlight of my week. Oh, the Wide <laughs> Viper. Wide Viper. Check uh, uh, DMs there, the group chat. Oh, no, I, I, do, I do see it. I, I see <laughs> the wide, wide Viper. Wide Viper is wide. The Wide Meth Wombat. <laughs> yeah, and guys, pretty much. Guys, if you want to uh, if you want to see the Meth Wombat appear in the wild, okay, all you have to do is just do a dono, and then it's going to appear... And it's going to talk about 14 pages. It's, it's, it's fantastic. <laughs> you, the, who? I th but like, legitimately, I think it was when uh, Carl Jobs came out about his interactions with Viper. Mm -hmm. And then he, he's just painted in a whole new light for a whole new sub area of the internet. Yeah. Cause, okay, so apparently, so as many of you might not know, uh, Carl Jobs, he is currently being sued by, uh, what's his name, Billy, um... Billy Mitchell. Billy Mitchell, the guy who allegedly has the world record for Donkey Kong. And, um, unfortunately, Carl also has cancer treatment that he has to do. At least, I, I yeah. believe it's cancer treatment, correct? It's a, yeah, it's I'm a, pretty it's, sure. It's a life-affecting illness that he's getting uh, treatment for. And so, obviously, he takes sponsorships when he can get them. And uh, what was mm -hmm. the name of the company that he got a sponsorship from? Oh, fuck. Uh, Carl deleted all of his tweets. <laughs> and like I said, go I, figure. I, I, I was uh, uh, doing convention stuff when he deleted all of them. Shit. Well, anyway, I don't know the, the name of it, but I know uh, one of the higher ups or like the the company is, is Asmongold. Part, yeah, the company's partly owned by Asmongold. Yeah. And because Asmongold Gold does reaction content. He's the devil, apparently. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, Asmongold is a uh, <laughs> is a he's a goblin. He's a <laughs> he's a gremlin. Oh lives. yeah, he's the one. He's the one that likes to have roaches crawl across his face and that wipes blood across his walls. Instead, of I mean, who hasn't wiped blood on the wall? Yeah, instead of, like, brushing his teeth. Um, mm. <laughs> but, yeah, so, because Asmongold partly owns the company, I guess, 
uh, Dark Viper decided to cut all contact with Carl Jobs because of because yeah. of this because. And I, you know what? I'm glad he proved my point because I've been saying since day one of this coverage that Viper acts like a puritanical Christian, where it's mm-hmm. like if you don't 100 percent believe in what they do, oh my, you you're, you're not going to heaven. You're going to hell. You're mm-hmm. evil. You know. And so we have um, don't we don't have the original tweet anymore from Carl because he lead everything. Um, uh, did Nick share it? Did uh, he sc- or he probably retweeted. He he yeah he would have retweeted. It. I'm sure he saved it though for a potential video. Yeah. Um, we have Viper saying Carl and I spoke a few times a year occasionally at parties. I considered him a trusted acquaintance in a similar business. I didn't consider association noteworthy or cause for a tr- Twitter tirade. That's why I never mentioned it. It's clear we viewed our relationship differently. These things happen. They just thankfully usually don't happen on Twitter. It feels like schoolyard nonsense that I want nothing to do with. I feel I will speak for the for for the curious at. For the curious, as Carl seems quite keen to fire off tweet after tweet until the end of time. Mm, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> what a bitch. Well, I think it's pretty clear that, like, Viper, the only people who think you look sane right now are your, are your sycophants and yourself. Outside. Everyone else is like, oh, buddy, <laughs> chill pill, chill pill, buddy, you, uh, starting to look a bit cuckoo. Mm-hmm. But no, nah, no. Nah. Dark Viper, Dark Viper sees all this and he goes, hold my beer. I, uh, I guess I'm going to hell then. Oh, don't worry, Shanri, uh, me and Squatch already have the penthouse suite, so. Yeah. We're, at this rate, we're going to have the whole fucking block filled oh yeah for sure actually it's gonna be great imagine the block parties oh, oh it's gonna be barbecues chugs. hell yeah you know what's repsion's new twitter now darth potato there we darth go darth potato yeah darth po- so <laughs> this this coverage of it's gonna start off weird because it, it's just um here we go. Different. Our Vipers. Where is. Because. Of all things to respond to, Dark Viper chose to respond to this tweet in particular. Man, he tweets a lot. He does. Oh, he wouldn't have. No, I don't think it would have deleted anything. Uh, let me just uh, go. To... Unless he was DMCA, because right. Viper yeah. likes to. Uh... No, wait, here we go, here we go. Oh, there it is. Found it. Yeah, here is the original. Here's the original tweet right here. Uh, how can a grown man become this angry over Among Us? (laughs) Chill, Dark Viper, eat his Snickers, pray to Jesus, maybe touch some grass. And, and Chilo just spent, they spent like one. runs around the entire fucking map to come to O2. And I'm like, I had no th- nothing to say. I was literally speechless. I did not speak that entire time because I was so confused. Why we were staying the game? I, I have never been this mad at a person the entirety of my life. I apologize. I'm still a little new at the game. <laughs> if you don't even, even I don't know, know how to win yet. in the game, why are you playing? Oh my God! Among Us brings out so so much anger in people. I mean, we have yeah. the famous uh, "Let me speak" from Bo Blacks. Mm-hmm. 
I'm a Buddhist. I'm probably coming back to this whole. <laughs> oh, listen, mm -hmm. listen. You, you, you don't follow the true word of a uh, viper. <laughs> oh God. So again, uh, the, the viper decided to respond to the very serious uh, accusations of not being good at Among Us anymore, being butthurt that someone made fun of him for it. So let's let's see. Please nine minute response video to this. So just before I went live, this clip got reposted on Twitter from someone named Darth Potato. How can a grown man become this angry over Among Us? Lamel, chill out, Darth, I pay you, eat a Snickers, pray to Jesus, or maybe touch some grass. This clip, no joke, is now four years old. It was covered in. The and it's still a funny clip. Yeah. It's still a funny clip. Oh, God, I already addressed this. The story of one of my biggest controversies 10 months ago, where I explained the whole story. So I'd largely be covering it again. I mean, I, sh I can show the clip again for those who haven't seen it. And, and Tilo just run sent, run went, like, runs around the entire fucking map to come to O2. And I'm like, I had no stuff, like a lot of personal stuff. Just got diagnosed with Hashimoto's disease and was figuring out my treatment. Like, I wish it. Uh, uh, yo, uh, I think that I think uh, translation means turbo aids. Mm hmm. Just chemically not doing well. I communicated I wasn't doing well beforehand. Like, it was like. You don't seem to be doing well a lot of the time. Might want to get that whole speech at. at the beginning of the stream, which I no longer have. Where I was like, man, I'm doing like the worst I've ever been doing in the entirety of my life. I just want to play Among Us and chill. Anyone who doesn't know how to play, please don't play. I just want to have like a, a smooth experience and, uh. Then don't play Among Us. I... That's, that's the worst don't, don't, game don't, choice if you want play. a chill evening. Yeah, don't play online games, period. If you don't, if you like, you just play a single yeah. player game. Mm hmm. <laughs> And plus, too, when you say, no, 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 nobody, please, nobody, please, uh, no, no one play my game, uh, I, I want to play a game, but no, no one bad play, then all the people who are bad at the game who want to annoy you are going to purposely play bad. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Scott, who was the target of my outburst, understood, and he forgave me and we played many games after. He's, he comes around occasionally, he was, he's VIP in chat and all that jazz. It's like one on the bridge within like two days. But this, this clip has now been referenced a hundred times. And it's frustrating because with the context, obviously it's not particularly bad. No you, you know what helps Viper um, about this whole thing is if you generally ignore it. Like you ignore people. <laughs> it's funny. He ignores people who are rightfully calling him out on his DMCA stuff, right? But mm -hmm. but then he has to respond. But he'll to stuff he'll like he'll this. validate a two follow uh, yeah a two follower Andy with a response, and not well, just a response like a fourteen chapter response. <laughs> fourteen page response. No one involved thought it was particularly bad. But like when you've streamed for fourteen thousand four hundred and sixty one hours, yours then not 14, be a thirty second. Fourteen thousand. <laughs> fourteen thousand hours. Get guys, here. guys, okay. I'm a I'm a big streamer. I stream a lot. Okay, come on, guys. You gotta listen, all right. Where you look like an asshole is impossible. And so there's one copy of this clip on YouTube. In other words, oh my god, do you, do, do, you, do you, I'm reading some of the chat. Look who's in the chat. Just a worm. <gasps> worm. Where's yeah. chat? No, 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 not our chat, not oh. our chat. Uh, oh, okay, Viper's I was chat. excited. Yeah, yeah, Viper's chat. Although, shout out to Just the Worm, we used his uh, art for the thumbnail. This dude drew 5260, and this small clip has enabled, like, at least a hundred disingenuous people to use this clip for four years to attack me with it. And I've questioned what to do about it for so long, because I don't know if Drew was hostile to me or something, or, or just being a dick or something, because I think he was in my... Discord at one point, and so you keep track of all the fifty like sub Andes who are like in in your server. Apparently so. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> like he he always has to analyze. Oh, oh, this is one hundred percent. Oh my god! Imagine if he got clipped like Wings and Boogie. Oh my, he he would have a meltdown. Hmm. I've tried to reach out to him multiple times over the years to be like, hey, like, I don't think this clip existing is communicating the... 
please, please take it down, Clipper. Please take it down, Clipper. Pretty please. <laughs> Well, yeah, it, wait, I'm much. confused. It's on YouTube. You're so DMC happy. Why is this look like the one clip you want to be like, hey, please take this down? I know just. I have no idea. Go for you. Context of what happened, and I think it is just contributing to misinformation. Can you please take it down? But I've got no response. I'm not sure if I've ever gotten through because he, he doesn't seem to use the channel anymore, at least uh, as of the past year. The back end doesn't enable me just to reach out to him via email or something because there, there is no email here. Since this clip has once again been brought up on Twitter by someone who's disingenuous, or whatever, I, I've now set about striking this video. I don't want to, but fortunately, YouTube does. Well, <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. Wait, 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 wait. He's just like, this just makes me look bad. So, like, he was fine with the clip for all these years. Well, not. Nah, Say it bothered him, but like he didn't. Now that because you know you said to follow Randy, but Rebzion is a 40k follower account. Yeah. But now that like bigger eyes are looking at a lot of his like dumb moments, now he's starting to like try to wipe um all of his embarrassing stuff off the internet. It seems. Mm hmm. Give Sounds you the option to give the person seven days to take down the clip, or at least reach out to me or whatever, and and discuss it with me or something before something happens to your channel. He doesn't seem to use his channel, and um, if it does get striked, it would go away in three months anyway. But yeah, I don't know. I I, I just regret leaving it up as long as I did. What people want to paint me is this DMCA hungry guy. That's generally speaking not me. But I just think. No, you just you you like taking down stuff that make you look bad. That seems to be mm -hmm. the case the majority of the time. Yeah, it was because, bitch behavior. Because again, um, he didn't really bother showing a, for example, the whole like Chud logic situation. He didn't really bother to show a lot of like Chud's like critiques or breakdowns of his um counter arguments. It's more just oh, here's a clip where he calls me gay. Here's a clip where he says I uh, yeah like I'm mentally disabled. Like his Fifi's get in the way a lot of the time it seems yeah this clip is just contributing to misinformation and i don't think i have some moral obligation what, what misinformation though it's a clip of you raging at a video game and people are laughing at you about it what misinformation is there to <laughs> oh, oh. yeah i'm struggling with that one too Mis misinformation there's misinformation what's the misinformation Prove well, it, you bitch. see, like I Prove wasn't, it. I wasn't actually mad, but but you were, you were mad. But you're you see, mad now. But but you see, like there there was uh, outstanding circumstances for me. If the reason why I was mad, I wasn't mad. It's because oh, guys, I wasn't one hundred percent mad because of Among Us. That's why it's it's misinformation. <laughs> to contribute and or to allow misinformation, right? It's not like I'm hiding the clip. I've shown it in multiple videos. I've discussed it at length many times over the last four years. If you want to watch the clip, it exists in my content multiple times. But I just don't like the idea that you can watch it somewhere without any context of how it came to I don't like the idea that you can watch it and then think bad of me. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like when people think bad of me. I think people need to think that I'm speedrunning Jesus. Mm. In, in, in content Jesus. So like, um, <laughs> any false word about me uh, needs to be struck down from the record. Because <laughs> I, I, Dark Viper AU, speak the only truth in the universe. <laughs> yeah, and why? So. There should be no harm that comes to this true guy, so we'll see what happens if it gets taken down or something. I'm sure there are many copies of it that exist out there now anyway, so any of these people who just want to attack me for no reason and misrepresent me will still be able to, but at least it won't be exacerbated, right? This guy seems kind of weird. Like, in response to this, he said, forgiveness is essential. I yeah, by the way, <laughs> Rapsion was, was, was being a little, little memer, a little, little bit of a memester with this. Forgiveness <laughs> is essential. I am so happy that you wiped the sins slate clean. <laughs> You will have a spot in heaven for that act of kindness. For because of context, you guys don't know. Uh Rebzion's an atheist and <laughs> he likes making fun mm -hmm. of Christians. Yeah. Last yeah, six months. Daniel Jane and Wait, he's oh my god, he's delving into the Maya drama.
So he's pinned comment. It says, we have settled. Please see the statement below. This is within the last you know, six months. Daniel, Jane, and Maya. Oh my God, Viper. I don't know if you want to go down that rabbit hole. I don't know if you want to. Oh my God. What if after this video released, Maya came into his DMs? Oh God. Two, oh my God. I, I, our match made in heaven. Two crazy Meth students. Wombat and Meth Possum? I mean... <laughs> God, my, Maya's gonna hear that, and she—I mean, I'm gonna privately complain. I'll let her this. hear it. I'm uh, gonna privately complain this stream. I have resolved our various legal claims against one another. Dealing with the aftermath of a relationship is a highly emotional and volatile time in a person's life, and dwelling in that dark place isn't helpful for anyone's personal growth or emotional development. We appreciate all the support and investment. He's reading this with no context to this. Yeah, he has no lives, idea what's going on. We wish to keep on. this matter private and behind closed doors. The last two years have been emotionally draining, and we hope you will understand that it is best to move forward without dwelling in the past. We wish Maya the best in her future endeavors. Thank you. And and this dude is bringing up four-year-old clips from very tumultuous bad times in my life and attempting to but like, again it's it's you being mad at a video game it's funny to yeah laugh. It, it is funny to laugh at you buddy i'm sorry to for you to hear this sometimes like there's a reason why there are like a bunch of like gamer rage compilations on youtube because it's it's funny watching someone break a controller o over mm -hmm. dying in a video game yeah to attack me using them. Yeah, it's hypocritical. But where the strides in effect, Matt? <laughs> you, you, you had a, um, like a four year long battle with your toxic, crazy ex girlfriend who would constantly stalk you and was stalking you further into your next relationship. Uh, kind of hypocritical of you, um, to talk about that and then laugh at me being mad at a view game. I don't know, Squadron, that's kind of hypocritical. <laughs> A little bit, yeah, I can see it. Yeah, oh yeah, like, yeah, totally, mm, totally, what? totally hypocritical. Dark rapper, you're totally working with the the big brain on that one, buddy. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Sir, it's, it wasn't smooth brain thinking whatsoever. I don't think this clip can be more Streisand. There was also, too, like, what's the excuse that like um he I'm I'm using Hassan as an example because he the Viper hates Hassan. But uh, his song's excuse for all of his like um, outburst and bad takes is like, well, like guys, I, I I stream for hours, eight hours a day, guys, hundreds of hundreds of hours, and you know, of course, there are gonna be clips where I look like a jerk, you know. Mm. Like, why do streamers? Granted, it comes to the territory occasionally. You're gonna get like weird, out of context clips, make you sound bad. But yeah. it's, always, it's, it's always the same excuse. And mm. they need some new material. They really do. Like, listen, I know, you know, YouTubers, for example, you know, we've all made severe, continuous laps in judgments. <laughs> oh, yeah. You no. Know, better phrasing next time, guys. Come on. The PR, PR's got to step up a bit. Grab us the source. There was a big post on the live stream fails about it. And I've discussed it to death for years. Is there a single person alive who hasn't uh, discussed it? Let's see what happens. So recently I talked about how on YouTube, there was a clip with about 30,000 views of me raging at a dude when I was playing Among Us. Uh, his name was Scott, comes in chat sometimes, you may have seen him. All right, enough, enough of that. <laughs> I, I can't believe he, because th these are, these are, th this video is taken from two clips from two separate streams. He had to respond to so mm -hmm. good way of showing you don't care, Dark Viper. Yeah. <laughs> I love uh, Dark Potatoes response. Dark Viper directed an entire video to me, to my Among Us clip tweet, which is just me making fun of him raging in a video game. Then he rereads my sarcastic tweets about forgiveness and loving Jesus. Seriously, I cannot make this crap up. Bro, if you dedicate all your free time to responding to everyone, everything on social media, it will drain you. I've been laughing all morning because of this. I'm in disbelief that he dedicated an entire video to me making fun of his gamer rage. Well, listen, okay, that's going after a man's that's gamer too far. rage. It's, it's, the, it's a low blow, buddy. Okay, you that's can't be doing that. That's way too far. 
There's supposed to be honor, honor among YouTubers, okay? I'm an honor among internet celebrities. And you went a step too far. <laughs> I can't believe you did that. That, Darth Potato, you can never be forgiven. <laughs> oh my god, and here's a, here's a video he released yesterday. It's called, I Can't Keep Responding to Bad Faith Criticism. By the way. Yeah, call everything bad faith so you don't have to, like, own up to your actions. No, yeah, like, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Like, unless it's coming from your friends, bad, you can interpret anything outside of your friend group as bad faith criticism. Because guess what? Criticism is meant to be harsh. Mm-hmm. It's not, you're not gonna like That's the criticism. problem, John. He doesn't have friends. Oof, true. I mean, he doesn't have a girlfriend. He doesn't go outside. He doesn't talk he to doesn't his family. He doesn't talk to his family. <laughs> like, and this is all what, well, that's all self admitted, too, by the way, right? Mm hmm. He admitted his closest friends are his mods. Which is a very unhealthy relationship, which is probably why they've been so diehard to defend him. Because he's, mm -hmm. he's established this parasocial relationship with all of his, like, fan base. Mm -hmm. And then points at everyone else claiming parasociality. Like, Viper, man, you, you live in Australia, man. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure there's a wombat out there for you. <laughs> Don't go for the koalas. They give you STDs. Mm. Yeah. You end up with the clap. Yeah. made mistakes in my life. But I'm not, not a malicious person. I don't act a- I'm not a malicious person, guys. I'm not. No, I'm just, okay, buddy. I just hate it when people make fun of me. That's all. Oh, come on. Don't make fun of me, please. Just don't. Harm people. I don't seek to treat people. I, I do my best to treat everyone fairly. I, I treat people as I want to be treated myself. I don't have skeletons in my closet. Right? I've lived a fairly boring life, relatively speaking. People aren't going to be able to dig into my Discord or something and, and find me doing something weird. That just doesn't exist. Look at how big so people those pupils to... are, though. <laughs> you think that's, uh, that's the sign of the meth? <laughs> that pause, your pause game is on point today, John. Holy shit. Oh my god, look at him, look at him buckering up those mm. lips. Screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> Work Use to that prevent this kind of stuff out of in the future. Yeah. Misunderstandings or, or they have to misinterpret events to not understand what was going on or that I misinterpretation. Misinterpretation. You guys are purposely misinterpreting all of my takes, all of my stances. Guys, I'm totally but that's not, not what I meant. Yeah. I'm, mm -hmm. totally, I'm totally not the one who compared uh React content to being Bill Cosby. Yeah, for real. I was in the rice or, or what have you. Just by living online for, you know, my, my 10 year career now and interacting with thousands of people, there are going to be misunderstandings. There are going to be times when we butt heads and stuff. I, I am going to make mistakes sometimes, but they're honest mistakes that if you understand the context, make sense. For Except when it comes to like any of your React content stuff, in which case you are 100% right. There are no mistakes made there. Hmm the time you know people criticize me for coming off as condescending Ho holier than thou ass you know, <laughs> you're uh you're you're, you're they're uh, not wrong yeah your your paragraph among paragraphs of responses and your response being like well actually like if you read it in like a youtube video format it only takes like two minutes to say actually so like what's the big deal <laughs> oh my oh my god He's probably one of those people, well, no, because he, he likes to write everything out carefully, but you ever had someone where you're texting them, and they're very clearly using, like, the, um, the voice to text, um, feature on a phone, and they're just, like, talking mm -hmm. and talking, and then you just get, like, a whole Something that text. does not make, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Better than these people or whatever, but it's really hard not to come off that way when this is the sort of criticism that I receive from these people. They're in this little herd that they don't, they don't realize that the things that they say isn't what makes me look bad. What makes me look bad is that I engage with this shit at all. I look bad not because of what they say or who they are, but because I kind of- Or because of what you do? I mean, you seem a pretty, uh, uh anti-creator when it comes to a lot of stuff, because- because 
any clip that shows you being bad, you have to go out. You like, I mean, oh my god, he attacked Bo Black for going after all the tweets making fun of him, and went on a tirade about how Bo Black is the most malicious creator on YouTube. Step down to meet them on their level and engage with them as equals. Because I'm sorry, we're not equals. At least in the domain of YouTube. I would. We're not equals. I have. I have millions of dollars in which I can sue everyone for everything when I when I want to. It's it's gonna it's yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Please, I hope everyone remembers um his initial response video to um uh, Optimus Turkey Tom because in that video he talks about how like yes uh if you go through with um trying to file out the copyright i have i have enough money to outlast you like basically basically saying like you like you have to accept the fact that i'm taking the clip your video down or otherwise you're going to face my wrath sort of deal cuz he's got he's got more money than chud logic he's de he definitely has more money than me i would love for him I would love, I know Muda and him supposedly have settled things, but Muda, Muda, buddy, buddy old pal, listen, okay, all I'm asking is that you basically do what you do, right, throw in a little clips of you reacting to his content, see what he does, because um, I'm going to bet that you probably have more money than him, <laughs> and I would, I would love to see him finally. Shut up about because like he he do, he does the same thing that like XQC does where it's where it's like he just like he's an idiot who made money by doing nothing and he thinks he's worth something because of that. This guy's a full on law cow, but believes he's better than the majority of the human population. That's that's the beauty, and that's why he's the best law cow. He's a law cow that doesn't realize he's a law cow, and um. His fan base doesn't realize it either, which is another fantastic thing. Like to think that if I didn't have my Rambles channel or my Rambles series, that I would be more like that. That I would just be like, whatever, who cares? But I don't know if I would. Because again, the thing that I started on, on YouTube, was doing this kind of content. Political, social, debate, religion. Oh yeah, I, speaking of that, let me, uh, let me look that up you on the tweet real quick. Apparently, Dark Viper had a channel dedicated to, like, atheism, debating Christianity, and, um, yeah. What are you trying to find? Where's that bad boy at? From the British. Oh yeah, here's here's an interesting one though. While we're uh, trying to find that one clip, uh, here is a tweet from the Omni Boy. Uh, Dark Viper is now striking clips uploaded by Kiwi Farms that have been uploaded for the express purpose of the public discourse surrounding his controversies. It is now happening on KF and elsewhere. This is interesting because DV's second video is he is in no uncertain terms made clear that the clip that serviced the public discourse is constructive, fair use by his standards. He says he doesn't wouldn't want to DMCA it that it is a most contrary example of Dark Viper lying about his standards of DMCAing clips for convenience and personal gain. Not for any principal position, there is no room for interpretation. Not convinced now. There is no hope for you. So yeah, this 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 is all about his ego. It's it's all it's all it's ever been about. Dude can't handle it when he's made fun of. So if there is a way he can justify it, he will. Uh, let's see. And uh, uh, this is uh, this is this is the 
part of my favorite part of the show where we just show endless clips of Dark Viper being a moron. Grum Manberry, Dark Viper AU, says his life is worse because another gamer beat his speed record run. How is he this entitled? How is he projecting this hard? This man is gosh darn mentally delusional. He's not living in reality. I have never seen salt drip onto someone's chin this hard. Literally, the one of the biggest concerns I had with someone beating my time is knowing that no one's going to give a shit who unnamed is in a week. No one. No one will remember. No one will care. But me, people will bring up unnamed for me for the rest of my fucking life. I will be forever that guy who tried hard to beat Oko and did not succeed first. Ooh. When Ooh. I say he has um, made my life worse, miserably so. He has made my life worse, miserably so. That is sad. That's pathetic. Viper, if you're if your if your life can be destroyed by someone doing that to you, you you have other things going on in your life. Maybe get a girlfriend. Tinder's a thing. I'm sure if you throw money at a girl, she's gonna stick around for a few man. <laughs> but this is um, this this is not healthy, man. You're you're sad. You're pathetic kind of content. You know, I went to university to study psychology because I was very interested in, in why people believe as they do. Uh, I'm actually a psychology major, actually, so like, uh, I'm well aware of how the human mind works. Uh, perfectly sane individual, actually. So like, uh, That's what they all say. You, you, you guys are, are the crazy ones. Uh, me, me being <laughs> mad at a uh, random person online for beating my speedrun record, uh, that's actually completely justifiable. And, um, of course he's, uh, ruined my life. Why wouldn't he ruin my life, beating my speedrun record? <laughs> you know how many nights of sleep I, uh, I went without it? You know how long I went without deodorant? How long I went without a shower? And he dared to beat me? How dare he? Okay, you know how much meth I had to consume in order to, uh, <laughs> in order to keep up? Oh, Jesus. I, Dark Viper Sleep AU, is for the week. Yeah, yeah. I'll sleep when I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, I, Dark Viper AU, am the greatest of all time. And act as they do. Why people differ on certain things. And while I do rec recognize the futility of a lot of these different things now, at least I, I, I perceive things that way, I, I don't find this discourse to be particularly important or, or what have you. A part of me still likes to engage in it to some degree. Like I sometimes sit back and reflect on why do I do these things. We've talked- Because you were an egomaniac. Simple as that. Before about, it's impossible for me to prevent people from having misunderstandings about me and my life. Especially as time goes on, things that are even further in the past will be even harder to understand. You make money from it though, I guess? I don't think it's really about the money. Like this video will make, what, like 200 bucks on the Rambo channel. At best. And the majority of that will go to the person who edits it. I think it's more about just having a video every day or whatever on the Rambo channel. I do need to... Because you know GTA content. It's on the decline right now, so you want a separate channel where you're pumping out content, and even though, obviously, drama content is not how it was in the golden age of YouTube, uh, it's still a very mm -hmm. viable option when it comes to uh, being paid. So, yeah. Of course, you're going to um, do the secondary channel where all you do is just talk about how people are mean to you. If you're going to do that. You see, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, all I'm doing is just making 200 bucks a month for a video. Well, uh, let's look at his, uh, his channel. Uh, let's see here. His weekly. Actually, let's see, 24 hours ago. It, it is like almost a daily upload channel, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, let's, let's be generous and say... 
the two hundred dollars is on average, right? Well, two hundred dollars plus times like thirty, you know, average amount of days for a month, you know, that's still mm-hmm. quite a bit of money. And sure, you say the majority of that goes to your editor, but still. Also, <laughs> pay your editors, you know, mm-hmm. uh, if we yeah. learn anything from the wall cow drama. Um, but still, like, you're, you're acting like you haven't, like, made any sort of money from this whatsoever. And plus, too, you're doing this additionally while you're streaming. I don't know how much he makes on average on stream, but obviously enough to do it full time where he's able to brag about how he can sue people into oblivion. But I mm. imagine he quite, makes quite a bit of money doing streaming. Plus, any main channel revenue he makes, all of his, all, all of, pretty much all of his content isn't like any, like, ed, ed, like it's not like a video essay. It's just like a segment from him on stream. So it, it literally requires no extra effort from him to make other than clicking the yeah. upload button. And even then, mm-hmm. it's probably his editor doing that. <laughs> yeah. To ramble to a certain degree. And most of my rambles revolve around what's going on in my life, what people are saying about me and stuff. Which IRL obviously isn't a whole lot, so you gotta talk about what people are talking about about you. Yep. So. And this really slots into that kind of vein of content. But when the content is largely positive in regards to what I'm doing, people don't notice that it's, you know, about me or whatever. But when, when it becomes drama, when people being negative or whatever, it, it feels worse. And people complain, in large part justifiably. Do I really want to have to? Sit down for another four hours and explain in intricate detail why a person is wrong again. Please do that. Please, please do that. Show me do how it. insane you are again. Do it, no balls. Do it. Respond to this right now, Dark Rapper. How many more of these videos are going to trickle out that I'm just going to be like, you're wrong. Here's the 800 reasons why. What's the point? Like, I think there's comments in the description or whatever that are already, uh, already covering it, but... If you have mental energy, please don't. I mean, I can I can hit these at, like in like three times speed and then just write something and then just cover it on rambles. So you're not actually listening to what they're saying. It's just like, oh, yeah, they must hate me for X, Y, and Z. Yeah. Um, you know, I can't wait for British Runners Part 2 of, uh, of, of his series. That's going to be a lot of fun. Ooh, can't wait for, yeah, uh, that for is gonna uh, be fun. Willie's video. That's probably going to come out either today or tomorrow. No, it'll be next week sometime. Today or tomorrow is the Dark Viper. Oh, yeah. We're talking about... <laughs> why, why am I talking about Keffles? No, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm talking about his 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 dark Rider video, yeah. Yeah, it should be today or tomorrow. The more you click them, the more your algorithm will give them to you. Not only me though, I am fairly convinced that if I click something and watch it all the way through, that that probably increases the likelihood that my subscribers also get that video. I mean, so you're self admitting that you're like you're feeding like your own hate. <laughs> this is like yeah so like i have a theory that like every time i finish a video my fan base then receives the video in their algorithm so like realistically wouldn't it be just best for you to uh just ignore it then because like you would think so because yeah. uh, a rambles channel can be about anything you could talk about any like Video game you want, you can talk about like movies or just anything. It's literally a ramble, but you're clearly yeah. making the rambles channel a drama channel for the express purpose of getting clicks. Mm-hmm. This Dark Vipers dude's voice is weird. Well, you know, he's, he's naturally Australian, so the voice is going to be a tad weird. But it's like a weird, like, high pitch sort of Australian. You know what I'm saying, Squatching? Mm hmm. I do. Like, I understand. Like Mitch's, I I can listen to Mitch's voice, no problem. I like Mitch's voice. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Uh, outside of doing content on him, I cannot listen to Dark Viper speak because he just sounds so slimy, obnoxious, and smug, obnoxious when he talks. Because he, like, because he talks like he is the immediate all-knowing figure in the room. Not. Yeah. Like, I mean, I suppose there's no way of knowing that. It could just be, like, if I'm getting presented a video by the algorithm, then people who also have an interest in me, as I do, would also get presented that video. In a way, though, I'm not as concerned about that. Again, most of these videos are very poorly made and and made without a complete understanding of any of the events that I'm... (laughs) Most of these videos are poorly made. 
cut to uh willie max video it's gonna be like <laughs> <laughs> uh listen comment cop I, I don't know if you watch if you uh if you watch this okay but you see this you see this clip from this video okay i want you to uh cut that with the intro to willie max video it's gonna be a great tweet <laughs> banger tweet go uh go edit it really involved in any person who's invested in me and my existence to any degree can usually spot inconsistencies or flaws in what a person is saying either that or recognizes the tone that the video is in and won't just buy it wholesale uh, in its entirety more than that you need to remember that how many people do i reach on a month-to-month -month basis so there was in the last 28 days 4.6 million people unique people who watch my videos and so i got you know 22 million views in that time 3,000 people in 4.6 million is effectively nothing. Like you guys like to think that I have this dedicated fan base who loves me or, or whatever, what have you. But that is ultimately a very tiny portion of my audience. The vast majority of- I mean, you're just explaining how the YouTube algorithm works. <laughs> yeah, you see, oh guys, did you know actually, like you want, sure, you want that core fan base that will- watch your videos but then you also want to make sure that more people who aren't familiar with you are watching the video so that way slight percentage of your core fan base increases did you know that squatching i did i actually did you, oh my god it's you one did? of the few the few tidbits of information i have retained over the last four years <laughs> oh my well i'm uh, you know i'm well you and dark viper are like the few ones to crack the code yeah. Uh, I, I had no idea that was a thing either. Oh my god. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. He's an Aussie and doesn't sound like it. He sounds like something, I don't know, almost like he's he's trying to sound smart. <laughs> Key, keyword trying, Chandra. Keyword trying. <laughs> an attempt was made, that's for sure. Yeah. My audience thinks of me as funny GTA guy who does funny GTA things and tells them about GTA and the individual of Matthew Judge is fairly irrelevant. I oh my god. People don't know the real me. People don't know Matthew Judge. I appreciate the degree to which I have tens of thousands of people who actually care about me and my opinions and my viewpoint and this commentary content that I do on the Rainbow Channel. But we need to always remember that this is the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest portion of my overall reach. I could ultimately be revealed tomorrow as a terrible human being who, I don't know, throws puppies against walls, and it probably wouldn't impact my content at all. I'm not even sure that- Wow. Um, all right. The vast majority of the people who watch my GTA content will even find out. As much as I understand that- he that is such a smug thing to do i mean we've always st stood by the phrase the only one who cancels you is you yourself right yeah but they're like like no doubt in my mind that like if he was like in a in a heavy enough controversy he would lose some support from a fan base right oh yeah but he's got them so well trained right now. I don't think it'll happen anytime soon. Oh no! Well, I think this though, the, the a lot of his recent actions is gonna be the downward slope when it comes. Like, let like we'll see probably like two three years from now. I'm sure his fan base is gonna be very very different. Hmm. Because he keeps bunny heads with a lot of other semi big creators like like i don't i'm sure carl's not gonna make a video on this no but like i don't know i could see like i could see muda if he wanted to mm -hmm. make another video and uh, i could see nick making a video if uh if if nick decided to come back out of retirement again <laughs> wait nick is retired again listen okay he's retired until i see a video come that's my policy with Nick from now on. He's he released one last month. But, but that was a re-release, though. Yeah, that was a re-release. Hang on. Sorry, two months ago. 
where he released the the leak call and everything and outed his fake videos well, let's see well yeah i'm looking at his, i'm talking about his main channel um yeah that's ago. what i'm looking at mama max lied about everything leak call and fake videos two months ago Two, well no then there's the uh this video will make oh, you hate no, mama max home. and then um kiwi farms two uh, not Kiwi Farms, Kiwis. Kiwis. Kiwis the YouTuber. Okay, yeah. Two months ago. And that's a re-upload okay, from yeah, the yeah. Drama Alert documentary. Yeah. So, yeah. I love Nick's videos, but I, I, I don't get my hopes up for his uploads. Uh, my heart's been broken too many he's times been, watching. He, yeah, but he's been hella consistent since, so. Since the his initial comeback. I mean, he's done the streams. Granted, he's done the streams, but... I he's cut back because he's editing right now. He's, I think he had an yeah. uptick of stuff in IRL work, and that's why it's a little bit and delayed you know again. I'll be extremely excited if I see a video. You, you need to have faith, sir. I want to have faith, but you know how many times we've heard the phrase, oh yeah, I'm working on this video, I'm getting all these people that cameo my videos, and nothing ever comes out of it. misinformation about yourself you just shouldn't expect them to change their minds they're in their own toxic echo chamber where no matter what you do or not do is a win for them oh sure i i, I understand that you're obsessed if you answer but if you don't that means they won the debate the only thing you can actually have an impact on is make sure people who watch their videos won't get a false view about you no i don't really think i can really impact that much at all i'm not even sure the people who are likely to watch those kind of videos would ever watch a response from me anyway it's more educating the people who watch me to be able to refute that it's re it's reaffirming your viewers' belief in what they do and, and what they think about you. That's all. This, yeah. This is all. It's been. It's just like a massive PR thing. Like, no, guys, you you believe in what I'm doing. You are. <laughs> you 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 guys are right. I am right. You believe in me, so you are right. That that sort of deal. <laughs> that stuff when they run into it that has value. I think. But then again, you say here, you're obsessed if you answer, but if you don't, it means they won the debate. I do not care even slightly what these particular individuals think. As weird as it sounds, in this job, you kind of move beyond the idea of what individuals think on anything. It's about the potential movement of thousands on issues. I am how- Which is why you're always concerned about the clips of you looking bad being out there. Because you're concerned with the thousands of the people who might potentially see that clip. And thus mm. is why you tend to copyright strike them. In fact, he's been copyright striking. Um, we read it. We read out the tweets. He's been stri copyright striking uh, clips found on Kiwi Farms. Nothing malicious yeah. or anything, but these are clips from his stream talking about his recent actions and thus are contributing to discourse. He's yeah. been striking down these clips because they make him look so bad that he's afraid of the of people um, thinking differently about. Also, too, uh, this granted this this is from when like him and Muda were still f uh, feuding, uh, but I did I did want to uh, highlight this clip right here of the money that I make one thirty seventh, advocating in a video to stay with that system is so dumb. What is wrong with you? You admit in the video ad revenue is. And then you advocate for staying with the same system that they have right now. What the? F because every time they change something, Dark Viper, they make it worse. Also, too, you don't make. Call me crazy, Squatchin, but streamers don't make money from ad revenue. They make it from donations. Mhm. Mm that is true. Crazy concept, I know. That's why, like, streamers don't have Patreons. They already have. Twitch subs. Mm -hmm. I'll be Stream interested in the, the dynamics of belief and communities Shit, and how that. they form and, and what they do and why people speak as they do. It's like people as a concept are interesting to me. It's impossible to stop one individual from having weird false ideas about me. Let, let me let me bring up as an example. Here's I bully bullies saying oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bully W. No. Very rare bully. Rare. W. Very obvious. Rare. Yeah. Let's let's add that caveat. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like 
you you mentioned two follower Andy's. This is the true two follower Andy right here that gets under his skin, and it's so hilarious. It's so hilarious. <laughs> Not even a minute in, and you are already twisting the truth. There are not enough words in the dictionary to express my disappointment. From the VTuber, what did he say that was untrue? Bully's response, he said the video was universally hated when the like to dislike ratio tells a different story. The VTuber response, I rewatched the video to that point. Dark Viper said he got a lot of dislikes. This seems to be an accurate representation. Can you point out the time stamp where he says universal hatred? Bully says you can't be sick. Oh my god, this is this is like a tism. This is a tism debate right here. Yeah. Uh, no, actually, uh, this is what it means. No, actually, this is what it means. And then it's like, see, and Dark Dark Viper is just like, see, see, my 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 fan argued with him. I'm right. Serious right now. VTuber responds, I am serious. You're accusing him of twisting the truth, but you have misquoted him. Surely if you have such a high regard for the truth, you should demonstrate that by not twisting his statements. Bully's response, it's about the way it's presented. Can't I bully bully, it's a serious <laughs> He's hoping, because, like, see, dark, like, I bully bullies. He's a fan of these content creators, and he's dumb. So if, they, if their fans are dumb, that means they're dumb. And my fans are smart. That means I'm smart. Like, it's this weird, like... We're geniuses, John. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> By that logic, we are giga brains. Yeah, on the ultimate of giga chads. But... Yes. <laughs> you, you see, this is what I mean when, like... He doesn't go actual... He, he doesn't go about actual points. It's just, like, let me find a weak link in the chain, and then just go after that. This next ramble, I don't really know if I should talk about, and so I'm gonna speak very vaguely. If you happen to stumble across small YouTube videos that are, are ostensibly criticisms of- Oh my god, I think he's talking about British, the Br British runners video here. Of me? Oh, shit. No, that as much as I would like to respond to all of them, I no longer can. There has been some developments where online dramas have leaked into my personal life, the real world, in a degree- What personal life do you have? Three, that it is no longer safe for me to engage with this sort of material anymore. And so as much- I'm in danger, guys. I'm in danger. As much as I really enjoy tearing people a new one when they're so clearly in the wrong and know nothing. Well, it was never a good use of my time, but now I don't even consider it- Oh my god, he does that weird thing where he closes his eyes. He closes his eyes when he's talking about how, mm -hmm. how right he is safe to engage with this material anymore and that sucks especially because i wrote a really long script refuting someone's video it was 10 whole pages in fact it was like 11 or 12 until oh like so it's okay for you to meme about it but it's not okay for other people to meme about it okay okay i understand i understand you don't have your coffee jacob what are you doing watching nerdy live in the morning not having a pot of coffee what is this we only use 12% of our minds. Dark Viper uses 3%. Oh my god. <laughs> listen, listen, okay. A Dark Viper is actually very, uh, very big brain. Listen, he, he understands the universe. Dark Viper is our lord and savior, after all. Mm -hmm. I cut a page out of it because Spider said it was too long. It was really good. Crushed a person, but it's like I can't release it anymore because it, it just further engagement with these. Oh, oh I would have crushed the British runner. I would have crushed him, but I can't release it anymore. <laughs> That's basically like, you ever heard you, know, you you ever seen a clip where someone's like, "Hold me back, bro. Hold me back." That's like the same sort of the same vibe. It's like, dude, you you <laughs> you would have gotten this. These people are just, it's just, it's not safe for the people I care about and myself in my, in like the real world. It's fortunate that I am a country away from these people. There was also a video where I, I sat and recorded stuff like yeah, four hours. Yeah, and you stay there. <laughs> stay. We don't want you stateside. Stay on that prison continent. <laughs> You're not allowed to bring meth into the country. You'll get arrested. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> exactly. You're meth warm, man. Tequila seed debunking video that two will not release anymore either. And that sucks. So, if you ever stumble across one of these videos, know with some confidence that everything they say- People are saying in this chat to get a concealed and carry permit. <laughs> what? Does Australia even allow for Bro. conceal and carry? 
I don't is, even think they allow for guns. Okay. It, or like would the Australian conceal and carry just be like a boomerang? <laughs> I send those videos I mean, it's complete bullshit, but I no longer can refute them. Because it's just, as I say, not safe or a good use of time. One of the hardest pills that I've had to swallow, becoming a large content creator. You know, he says that now, and I get I bet you he's gonna respond to uh Willie's video. More than likely he'll respond to Willie's video. People who always say, I'm not, I'm not going to engage in the drama content anymore, it's not healthy for me, are, they'll, they'll be back making drama in like the, the week, the, at most, the month. Mm. So, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, Dark Rider, you're totally done with this type of content. I truly believe in you, buddy. Is accepting that, debunking this stuff, refuting it as absolutely as I can, is not the best way to, to disengage with drama or to engage with this material at all. I need to have some cutoff, some threshold, where something reaches a certain level of, of notoriety, of, of attention, before I bother speaking about it. If I were to give an exact number for this threshold, I think like 150,000. <laughs> wait, 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 Squatchin. Let's, mm -hmm. let's re-listen to that. Threshold. Where something reaches a certain level of, of notoriety, of, of attention, before I... So, it's like... So, he's basically like, yeah, if, it's, if I can get views from it, basically, I'll, I'll respond to it. Let's, uh... So, he's about to say what the threshold has to be. This has to be the goal for Willie's video. I bother speaking about it. If I were to give an exact number for this threshold, I think like 150,000 views is probably what would be necessary for me to bother with this in the future. And okay, so, Willie Mac, you have to get 150,000 views on your Dark Viper video. I think you can do no it. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure, Willie. No pressure whatsoever. Just, you know, get like 200,000 views on this Dark Viper video. And, uh, <laughs> I guess I want to see this man go insane on Willy. Yeah, that'd be hilarious. And I have to make assessments oh, now because of the involvement of, of certain groups of people as to whether it's safe at all for me to engage at all in anything anymore. I'm speaking vaguely, but if you ever see someone in the wild being like, Mr. Dark Fire, but just can't refute these, these big brain assholes. It's like, it's not the case. I have. Is it because Kiwi Farms? I think he's mainly talking about kiwi farms here. Yeah, I think so. So you can have your opinion on kiwi farms, but the main purpose of the site is to just discuss drama. That's all it is. I've lived a long career, and being an expert in myself and my career, I am very much so equipped to debunk people who try and understand things from my past with the tiny amounts of that information that still exist. They are so incredibly ignorant, yet so completely unaware. And it is funny to watch, but again, no longer safe to engage with. I just need to, is it pride? Swallow my pride? Or just act like a fucking adult and stop arguing with people on the fucking internet and move on beyond this shit. I mean, certainly- it I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the bigger person and not talk about this anymore. Unless they get enough views, then I'll talk about it. Anything- Now, when you say you're not going to engage in this behavior, you have to- you have to say, no, it's going to be for everything. Uh, to be honest, Dark Viper does, does a good move with that, because giving any attention to anyone that criticizes him will make him go insane. Well, he, he's already insane. He, he's already insane. He was insane way before this stuff. I mean, oh my god, should, should we play, should we play the, the, the Muda clip again? <laughs> Of the money that I make, one thirty seventh, advocating in a video to stay with that system is so dumb. What is wrong with you? Funnier if it were one fourteenth. You admit in the video ad revenue is shit, and then you advocate for staying with the same system that they have right now. What the? F totally insane individual. Uh, I think he's a, a beacon of hope. For uh, the young, younger generation, <laughs> and that's why I said more insane. <laughs> yeah, no. uh, yeah, yeah. It's uh, listen. Uh, the Pandora's box has been opened. He's going to respond to something eventually.
Okay. Yeah. That oh, exists yeah. to refute. Already exists in my material refuted, but you have to know where to look. And only my most dedicated audience being around for many years would know of such refutations already. But, you know, them's the breaks. The internet is a gross place sometimes. I like to some degree banter as much as the next person, but when it spills over into real life and there's a uh, potential threats, it goes beyond the pale and it's just not acceptable. This content's gonna get better now. Don't waste your time on these idiots anymore. You are correct that it was obviously not the best content that I can produce. And a lot of it was just, I guess, old Dark Viper 8888 coming back to the forefront, arguing with people on the internet as I once did so frequently and for so long. There are very few topics that I consider myself an expert in chat. GT5 speedrunning, React content, but Dark Viper 8... Oh yeah, yeah, you're totally an expert in all those. After all, it's not like your records have been beaten, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, let's pull a salt in that room. Oh, it's not like you got beaten, buddy. Not like, oh... Oh, it's not, it's not like everyone laughed at you, and then when someone came along who actually knew what they were talking about, like, uh, let's say, uh, Jax Films, you know, Jax Films knew what he was talking about when it came to reaction content, and everyone, um, believed in his stuff a lot easier than anyone would believe in your stuff. Oh, oof, buddy. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I think you're an expert in just looking dumb. Yeah. Is, is the one topic that I have the greatest expertise. So far above and beyond any other person alive, I know me and my content and my history more than anyone else. When, when people try to challenge me on my history, things I've done and why, it's, it's like I'm playing some game show and they've picked the one topic in existence that I can destroy anyone on. <laughs> but I oh, oh, this w Willy Mac, please. Please release the video soon. <laughs> I know these people don't really care about what's true and they, they don't really give two shits what actually happened or why or all that stuff. All the resolution to different drama in the past and all that jazz. And it shows in the in the, in the way that some of this stuff in my past is covered. I always intended to do my iceberg video covering everything in my history as well. They were doing your own iceberg video? Why? That's um... It's kind of biased, don't you think? Yeah. Kind of an ego test, I think. Narcissistic, you know? Does do, does make good points for and slash against reaction? No, he doesn't. He says he says it's uh he says it's like Bill Cosbying someone. I'm sorry, but uh, like, yeah. any uh. any point you make after that, I cannot take seriously. After you compare reaction content to assault, you instantly yeah, no, like that's... lose anything. If he wants someone who's against reaction content, who makes more coherent arguments against reaction content, you need to listen to someone like Jack's films. But Squatchin, oh, do you have any, any last words on our uh, lovely Dark Viper? Put the pipe down. Get some help. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. For real. And guys, before we head out, we got to thank all the lovely members. Again, guys, by the way, uh, sorry for uh, there being no uh, members only pre-show today. But in order to make up for that, there will be a members only video uh, talking about the uh, trip I went on. Speaking, speaking of members It's 14 only... pages! <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Pidgey, for renewing your membership for eight months. Thank you so much, man. I think... Dang, I think he's going to be um, our first, like, one-year membership. That's going to be awesome. Thank you, Pidgey. You're nice. So, you're so awesome. Pidgey W. It, yes, pick one point that Bally represented and ma makes everything other points completely invalid. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, you we're not the him. ones that doubled down on yeah. it that, no, multiple seriously. times. Every time he, every time <laughs> it gets brought, he doubles down. I like, no, you see, like, you see, you don't ask permission for uh, mm. the, the 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 content, and you just assume it was okay, like drugging a woman. Yeah, like... Pigeon, thank you for being a super nerd three. That is the nine ninety nine tier, and thank you, Seth, for being a super nerd three for nine ninety nine. She, her membership has been for nine for five months. Thank you so much. Finally, uh, we have the Super Nerd Twos, which are is like the regular four ninety nine tier, um, which is I have loved the stars too fondly. Uh, finally, we do have the Super Nerd Ones. You can join for just ninety nine cents. They are Twilight Minda, Moody Morgan, Zaylin, 
Caressus, King TL, John Bon Zombie, Panic Bon, Keha Cast, Mickin McMuffin, Lady Nerdarst, Spectre, Jessica Bizzle, Daniel J, Annie, Marble, D Max, Mike the Bike, and P Paul Riveter. Thank you guys for being members of this channel. And uh, don't worry, next week shows will be back on the two shows a week schedule. Uh, from what I'm aware, my school, my work schedule is going to be slightly different, uh, at least for this week. So I will keep you guys updated on when shows are going to be. That being said, guys, make sure you follow me on Twitter for all updates for the show. Make sure you follow Squatch for updates, and so that way you can commission her for artwork. Her Twitter account is at Presnia, so go check that out. Also, Squatch, and you can be streaming anytime soon. Uh, not today. I'm actually going to go back to bed. I'm tired. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. I understand. Well, guys, check out Squatch's channel as well um, for all streaming gaming content on her end. This is Nerdy John signing out. And uh, remember, <laughs> if you're writing 14 pages about something, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe have someone check the rough draft, you know? Yeah, get a second opinion. <laughs>